This is JLo from JLo ENT. Yo, what's up, guys? My name's Easy. I'm the lyricist in JLo ENT. I'm going to come at you with a bit of insight about JLo ENT, what we do, how we started, and just where we come from, and the plans for the future. We started in 2009, I think it was February around them times, and those times, and, and I had a friend who could rap, which is easy, he's in a group now, and I thought, yeah man, let's bring him over, let's just like, see what happens, let's see how it goes. We did an event in 2010 called Praise Generation, that was our first one. The next year, we, we now, I think, we had gained a couple members and lost a couple members in this whole process. And now we're, we're a trio, we're a singer and two rappers. Um, we just we just want to just do music just to glorify God and at the same time just like kind of motivate people. Growing up in South East London for me was a thing where um, I lived in uh, Abbey Wood for about 10 years and being a pastor's kid, I used to always go like to different places with him when he used to minister. Like, there's people that you will meet along the way that you need to know where to place them, you know what I mean? My inspirations, I firstly would like to say uh, is one of them is my mum. Mus musically, I think Governor B, Fave Child, Vic I don't want to gas them, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, they've, they've kind of done a lot in the in the UK for me. Like to, they've kind of helped me understand just how to go about things in this industry. J -Lo, if you want to find us, you can find us on Twitter at JLo and Music, Instagram JLo and Music. Facebook to learn music. <laughs> Can we do shout out? Street shout out. Street shout out. Yo mom, basically, I love you in it. Obviously, dad, hold tight. Obviously, giving birth to me and that. You man. Your dad gave birth to me. No, I'm saying, them, <laughs> collab, collab a win, obviously. <laughs> that's that's featuring mom, download on iTunes, innit? Oh, download on iTunes, what? My, my old four, four bars, quick four bars, four bars. Yo, quick four bars. Have you seen your car? Quick four bars. Wait, you have four bars. I just showered with you. You're the MCM and the show. I don't blame that for my nose. No, 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 I thought about that one, man. Welcome to South East London, to blocks, kings, and pavements, to the dethroned, scattered children told that their only inheritance were stones beneath their feet. So come walk with me, but don't mind your step, be mindful where you step round here, my friend. You walk on precious stone. Believe me, this pavement don't need to be encrusted with rubies to have the same value on this black market as the blood diamond. This pavement has tasted blood before. This pavement is powerful, it's mindful, it has a mind of its own. So mind where you step when you step around here, my friend. Welcome to South, where the roads, these roads have mouths, tongues that have tasted the rubber soles of Air Maxes to night flights and it's still not satisfied, it wants to taste souls. This concrete you walk on is worth more than gold. This concrete, this block, this brick is worth the lives of fun-sized soldiers, apparently, of baby warriors. Boys have shed blood for this stone. Boys have shed blood to share rock. Welcome to my book, to South East, to silence, to queens where their wealth. Wealth is only traded in the currency of their bodies, where children have turned executive. Yes, but I'm here, little boys handle business, from suit ties to track suits. Yeah, we dress up fancy too, pull up our socks and stand up tall. Round here, we rise, no time to cry. Round here, we live to die. Right here. Yeah, what's going on, people? Uh, my name is Samson Faladon, also known as Sam Shoots, and I am a photographer and media content producer. And I run a company called Big Circle Media. I started off doing event for fo um, event photography, then uh, got more equipment, then added studio portraits to it and then um, learning about editing and After Effects and stuff like that. Now I'm also doing event primary production and I want to start shooting commercials as well. Um, problems I've faced. Um, when I was doing event photography, I think the huge and main problem I faced was that being young and um, not really having enough work to show you're not really gonna get much bookings, especially from the older generation. Like, for instance, if someone wants to do a birthday or something, they wanna see like your work. They wanna see like they wanna see those pictures that will make make them wanna call you. Um, out of everything I've done so far, the few bits of work that I could say that I've been proud of doing is um, a couple of years back. Um, I was on a post with um, OGTV. OGTV is a 
TV station back home in Nigeria, in Ogun State. And then recently I've been looking to shoot like, good quality music vids. And I think one person that I really love his work and what it does is um, Mr. Mo Musa. This year I started um, a web series called Faculty UK. Um, just looking at promoting young talents and that like, young people doing positive things in the UK. Um, the main success was getting a team together. Like, it's really difficult to actually grab young people about who's, who are all doing different, different things and actually try and run everything. Everyone on the team is doing really well. Everyone understands me. We all, we all work together. Like, actually, that's teamwork is what we're doing. And yeah, it's, 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 getting a team together has been a success for me. Um, if you want to know more about me or if you want to chat to me or anything, um, I'm on Twitter. Everyone's on Twitter. Um, follow me on Twitter at Sammy Shoots. Um, Instagram, Sammy Shoots. Um, Facebook, it's my real name, Samson Faladun. And um, if you want to follow the company, Big Circle Media, on Twitter, it's at BCMLTD. Well, my name is Michael Omni. Um, I'm currently the uh, United Kingdom Young Ambassador to the European Union. I represent young people in the UK internationally. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> well, I look forward to the first UKYA conference about social inclusion that represented the views of young people in the UK. And tomorrow we're going to be listening to speeches by important members of the Event. Well, the first time I actually took a step forward uh, uh, really was probably probably year eight when um, I joined the school council and it, even though we sat there we were discussing what colour the walls of the boys toilet should be, the lunch row, all these little little petty things, that's, that's when I first had a taste I guess for changing things and actually seeing change happen. <sighs> problems. I don't see them as problems personally. Um, challenges. Um, one of my biggest challenges, I guess, specifically in this role and as a person in general, is time management. Um, it's really hard to, to manage what I do. Also, people management, perhaps, is really big. Because you can imagine being involved in things like this, you meet, you meet a lo lots of different types of people. People who are very forthright and people who are very passionate. People speak a lot about how black people have it hard, oh, black people, this and that. And you know, personally I don't think so, but as you can imagine, I went to Woolwich Polytechnic School for Boys in, in Thamesmead. It helps me to not see limitations. So I use it to my advantage in that I, 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 use, the, I use the line from an ethnic diverse point. I was like, oh. I do lots of other things. I'm a music director, I sing, I dance. <laughs> I don't dance. <sighs> lots and lots of inspirations. You know, like I said before, young people I meet inspire me on a daily basis. Jesus Christ, that's the person that inspires me to do everything I do. You can follow me on Twitter, uh, Mike Rorschach. That's M-I-K-E-R-O-R-S-C-H-A-C-H. -E -E -C -C might just pop down here or something. Um, so I can definitely be found there. Welcome to Southeast. To blistered soles and callous feet, to full calves and even thicker thighs. We walk hard round here, work hard round here, yet we're labelled and marginalised, renamed, Mr. Overstated, but misunderstood. Call us foul mouth, but we dare not wash our mouths out with soap, because we won't put out the fire in our throats, because these little boys, these princes, these kings spit flame. They breathe metaphors and similes that will put your stereotypes to sleep permanently. No, we don't play round here. Welcome to my street, to my home, where our youth, our wealth, our royalty work their fingers to the bone, trying to rewrite your headlines. Yeah, we rise round here, no time to cry round here. We want the sky round here, because reaching for it just ain't enough, so fear us. Joseph.
Joseph Odiyemi, also known as Mr. VI, and I'm a DJ. <laughs> From year 11, first year college times, I've always had virtual DJ on my laptop. I used to just mess around with it, trying to clock the software. I wasn't really good at first. First thing I did was, um, in first year college, I made a little mix for my sister's section in the fashion show. January 2013 was my first proper party that I did fully. Um, that was my friend's 18th. And yeah, I guess well, I'd say that is the main start of me DJing. I wasn't really fully taken seriously at the start, which was, I guess, a big problem in my face. I think my two main successes I had was July 2013, me and a couple of friends, we ran an event called Bexy Summer Send-Off. It was just an idea we had to, it's just a little send-off to uni or to second year for the other younger people, for all the students in Bexley. We did all the planning ourselves, ticket sales, and I DJ for the whole night. I think this was a very good experience. It was my first real club experience. These people, they run a, a promotion company called Life PR. And I met them over the summer, sent them a couple mixes, and they said they liked me and they will put me in something eventually. Come November the same times, they put me in an event called Turn Up X Bonkers. Bonkers is a very big thing in Leicester. And I had a couple of friends come down because it was my first booking and it was a really good night. It was a good experience. Freeway Republic. 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 Going to uni and learning about how the club scene works, I think I can bring that back to the ends and like change how parties run as well. I've worked with, oof, I would say, quite a few big names, just DJs in Leicester and all that. Um, DJ Kuda, as I mentioned earlier before. Clipper, Twister, Mr. Magic, DJ ST. I went to a party where I was doing photography and there was DJ, DJ Fitz. Now, um, I'd heard of one of these mixes before and I really enjoyed it at this point. I didn't know much what I was doing as DJing and instead of me doing photography for most of the night, I spent most of the night sitting, standing behind him, watching him. It was a big inspiration for me at the time because he was one of the only people that I knew and have seen do something like that. My dad, my dad's always been a giver, I'd say. And I think that's why I started DJing because I thought I could give something back, allow people to enjoy themselves by something I also enjoy. You can follow me on Twitter at MrVI underscore, Instagram at MrVI underscore, SoundCloud, DJ dash Mr. VI and yeah follow live PR as well that's at LIV free PR and look out for YOLO Monday. No YOLO Monday is gonna be Yeah I was just gone. Uh, YOLO Monday would have gone by then. Yeah, yeah. Well I hope you enjoyed YOLO Monday. opportunity in DJ scene. His name's Tommy, the person running this. Um, yeah, it was his 18th birthday back in February and I'd like to thank him for that opportunity because that really kick-started my career. Um, this summer, I'd like to thank Sultan. <laughs> Sultan, Sultan was a great friend. Um, I, I don't drive personally. I had two big speakers. I had decks. I had a lot of equipment I needed to get to places and Sultan was a friend I've known for quite a while I guess and he helped me get about, did a lot of things for me and like 
he's never actually asked me for anything, which I really respect and I uh, thank God for their lives. Don't you worry, child. See, heaven's got a plan for you. Don't you worry, don't you worry now. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. So, what was you doing, um, flipping yesterday night? What do you mean, what was I doing yesterday night? What was you doing yesterday night? What was you doing yesterday night? My man was in his bed sleeping, but what was you doing yesterday night? So obviously, your man was sleeping, yeah? Yeah. A man's hearing different sounds in my in my bathroom when I was sleeping. What are you saying? If you're sleeping, how are you hearing sounds? I was dreaming, fam, and I woke up in it. So I wanted to tell him what he's doing in the bathroom. Because we learned to fly whilst trying to stay afloat above these pavements, these pavements with their mouths waiting to swallow, trying to drink the blood of our sons, trying to taste the body of our sisters and devour the minds of our young. Fear us because we fear nothing. We go from tracksuit to suit and ties, from hushed tongues to voices that ricochet off estate buildings and shatter fences. Yeah, we break barriers around here, so fear us. We sing like roaring lions and we dance like the ground is on fire. We can go from building enterprise to building minds all at once. So fear us. Yeah, so guys, I'm just going to be telling you a little bit about MTMMG and this project and what I've been doing so far. MTM started in, when did it start? January 2012. January 2012 was actually my first booking, but you know, 20, like, um, 2011, December was when, you know, I started talking about it. I was speaking to, you know, my friends and whatever and, you know, asking them what they, what they thought about this and, you know, people around my area didn't really do what I was, I was about to start doing. And, you know, I got a lot of backing from people, spoke to my friends, spoke to my parents and that, and they said, yeah, they, they wanted, like, they wanted to back me in it and help me do it. And, you know, first, um, the first booking, which was... Which was um, the Jungle Gang thing when, when Jungle Gang was still around. There. Back then, um, MTM was like a group, you know, MTM, which stands for More Than Music Media Group, by the way. Um, it, it consisted of eight of us, I think. Um, eight of us, Joel, Twayden, Tosin, etc., etc. Over time, due to like people's personal whatever, you know, they, they decided people had to, you know, had to leave and whatever. So, for a while, it was just, you know, me and Joe that just battling it, battling it out. We started building a name for ourselves, started doing events, we did promotional photo shoots, you know. Um, and then after, like, after a while, it just, we just started building the buzz around our area, you know what I'm saying, our area. People started, you know, hearing our names, like, oh, what's MTMMG, Joe, is that told me, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, you know, it just started going, it started going well, and, and, and I was thinking, you know, this, this, this is an idea that, you know, I thought about in my house, you know what I'm saying, and, and it escalated into something real good. Aside from, you know, the events and that, I wanted to do something apart from that, you know, once I, once I started the media group, which, which, which I'm very grateful for, which I'm happy, for, happy that God gave me the, the, the wisdom and whatever to start, I, I wanted to branch out, you know, do so many different things, because you can't really stay stagnant at one, at one position. That's kind of later on, so prior to that, we... Like I said, it was me and Joe, we were working, we were doing whatever, Joe was the editor. More time I was the um, photographer for the events and that. And, you know, after a while, Joe, you know, decided to kind of go on a different path, you know what I'm saying? Which kind of caused a kind of a, a frenzy on, on our side of Twitter, you know what I'm saying? And he left for different reasons, nothing bad, we're still really close friends and whatever, but he left. And then... He he started doing his own thing, which is DJing, which goes re which is going really well for him. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a situation. It's kind of which is which is kind of what this project is about as well. It, it's 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 what I'm trying to get across to the people that you need to understand that we need to help and support each other. A key person was Samson, who ran who runs you know Big Circle, and that he he gave me a lot of like help and support, and that you know you need people that are that you know. Uh, ahead of you, you know, whether it be financially, whether it be in terms of equipment, in terms of wisdom or whatever, just someone that you can look up to. So I get my inspiration for, from kind of anything creative, but in terms of like people that have inspired me, I, I kind of see, you know, Jamal Edwards as a kind of big inspiration to me, you know, because I used to watch a lot of the YouTube videos, a lot of like SBTV, a lot of Link Up TV, you know, Graham Daly and stuff like, just kind of urban stuff, like I just, I just used to watch them 
and one of the things I aspire to do over the years is to able to be able to actually work with, you know, some of them. A couple of years term, I would like to, you know, build up this MTM as a company. You know what I'm saying? This is this is something that the future, the documentary is just something that I thought of. You know, get a collective of people around my area to, to showcase. You know what I'm saying? To showcase to the world, to to to, to as as many people as will see this documentary to, you know, show them that there is a positive vibe there's a lot of people have wisened up you know what i'm saying a lot of people are trying to screw their heads on a lot of people are in uni a lot of people are doing this with their businesses and this and that you know what i'm saying so sometime towards the middle or the end of this year there should be a you know drama series coming out you know working with a couple of friends hopefully you can look out for that my twitter personally is at tommy underscore mtmmg and the the mtmmg twitter is just at mtmmg instagram at mtmmg and my instagram is underscore Tommy underscore MTMMG. So yeah, um, you know, just a big thank you for watching this. Big thank you for, you know, for taking time out to share, to understand and to, you know, just understand the, the, the vision that's here. If you enjoy the people that I was able to bring forth to you. And just, yeah, just stay tuned. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff coming, you know what I'm saying? Not from, not just from me, but from my area as a whole, as from London as a whole, you know what I'm saying? The musicians, the, 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 the athletes, the... The dancers that everyone you know keeps supporting MTM and yeah man we out. We sing like roaring lions and we dance like the ground is on fire. We can go from building enterprise to building minds all at once. So fear us, not because of what you hear on TV, but because of what you see when you finally visit Southeast. When you are welcomed by pavement splitting voices and mountain moving queens and fire spitting kings. Welcome to my South East, or well, some of it at least. Obviously, shout out to MCMMG. Yeah, keep supporting. Hi, my name's Amanda. I'm a singer and songwriter. Got MCMMG, Tony, do this thing. Shout out to MCMMG. Yeah, keep supporting. Hi, my name's Amanda. I'm a singer and songwriter. Got MCMMG, Tony, do this thing. Shout out to MCMMG. Huh? They're not. Shout out to MTM something. Oh,